Uh, my name is Danny Deliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. The communities we, s we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change. Okay guys, we're on to race number seven, uh, closing of jackpot one. It's the penultimate race on the card, your last chance to play a double as well. And uh, what's the distance here? Well, it's 1,000 meters, it's a merit rate, it's 78 handicap. And uh, this should all take place, all things being equal, 1,600 hours, which is four o'clock. Now, in the exotics, well, in the previous race, we've gone two horses uh, in the pick six. And I think uh, the last race, which will come to, I'm going to play it short there. So in this race, my suggestion is to play as wide as possible. Ten runners go to pros. I think any type of result is expected here. We've got a top weight that's carrying 63 kgs, number one, Vista Nova. And at the bottom of the weights, you've got 52 kgs. That will be numbers eight, nine, and ten. So it is a top race. And uh, when I took down the betting at the time of recording, it's actually seven to two, number seven, Travel Master, four to one, number eight, which is uh, Ledl's Echo, and then uh, 11 to two, number four, Variety Breeze, and then six to one, numbers one and two. Those look to be the principles. And I think number five, Southwest, yes, that's at seven to one. Those are the horses that are in single figures on the betting boards in the fixed odds betting market. So I'm suggesting let's play for the results here in the exotics. And that's the jackpot and the pick six and include the field. Uh, but place accumulator followers. Well, which horses are you going to have to choose from? Well, I think if you look at uh, the form lines, that form line behind cruise control, there wasn't much that separated numbers two and five. That was brass bell and uh, Southeast uh, that run behind cruise control. So those two horses need to be considered. I wouldn't be put off with 63 kgs on number one Vista Nova for Gavin Smith. I think that, uh, you know, <laughs> he's a horse that, if you look at his last start, which was in a highly competitive race, I mean, look at this horse. Uh, this average rating of this field is a 72. Now look at what this horse has been racing against. Average rating last time out, 91. Prior to that, 82, 88, 88, 77, 8. Now this is a massive down in class for him. So even with 63 kgs over this 1,000 meter trip, he wouldn't be a surprise winner. Variety Breeze, number four, loves racing on the surface. Three of his four wins on the poly track. Just the wide draw to overcome. The form is clear to see on that run behind cruise control. Uh, where he ran on the 1st of July. Well, you know, he, he does look held by these horses, uh, numbers two and five, but I think he had an off run that day, number four, Variety Breeze. And then another runner that I'd like to touch on, which will possibly be my narrow first choice, and I see it around seven to two in the betting market, will be number seven, Travel Master for Alan Kreef and uh, Charles in Glovo. That last start behind Vegas Gold, there was support for this individual. He's had three runs now in Kabeja, and he looks to be coming along the right way. He's improving all the while, and his last start was actually his first on the surface, and it was good to see. It's a positive that he showed a liking to the poly track as well. Number seven, Travel Masker. Of course, he comes from the stable of Brett Crawford when he used to race down in uh, Cape Town. And um, looking at the weight as well, it's 63, uh, 53 and a half. I've said 63 because I'm thinking about number one, Vista Nova. That's a big weight. But this horse, uh, number seven, Travel Master, will be 53 and a half kgs. So what's he getting? He's getting nine and a half kgs from the top one uh, at the weights. That is number one, Vista Nova. So it looks like a, a race where you're going to try and navigate your way around to narrow it down. You could be caught napping uh, if uh, you know one of the horses at the bottom of the betting boards get through and you didn't make that decision to include the field. It's all about structure, as we always mention. But my suggestion, because the numbers that I've given thus far, the perm's not costing too much. And at the back, as I mentioned, 
Uh, I'm going to go really short. I'm taking a big chance in race number eight for the exotics. But race number seven suggestion for the exotics is the field. That's a jackpot and the pick six. Place accumulator players. Uh, let me give you three runners. Three runners out of the ten runners. And hopefully we can double or maybe treble up. I'll go in no particular. Oh, let's go in order of preference. In order of preference, I'm going to go seven. Travel master uh, to beat uh, number two. Brass bell. And then uh, horse number five, Southeast. Hi, I'm Trevor, the CEO of the Same Foundation. The donation we received from Interbase helped us in procuring vital, life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huitiskia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you'd like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org.za, Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn.